scary. Scary because, I mean, we pull out of here every day. I mean, you just, there's so many cars traveling down this road. It could have happened to anybody. I mean, it's just terrifying. Nicole Hunsaker and Penny Casillo work directly across from where the incident happened. Yeah, people just really speed down this road. I've lived on Pony Express Trail off and on for 20 years, and I've never seen anybody slow down. Monday, Placerville CHP held a town hall meeting to address the concerns from the community and to provide an update on the ongoing investigation into the 21-year-old driver. Um, we were able to have a, a civil dialogue, a back and forth, uh, a give and take to where everyone had an opportunity to be heard. Um, we didn't leave there until every hand had an opportunity to be raised. Lieutenant Rick Hatfield says they've since increased their presence in the area. There is, um, within the last week, there is a focused uh, enforcement effort in that particular area. Um, we've also deployed our radar trailer. A temporary fix, but those in the community say they want a permanent solution. Get a crossing guard, put some signs in the crosswalk or some flashing lights, something to draw attention to it because it's so faded out, you don't see it. According to El Dorado County, a plan to improve that crosswalk has been in place as early as 2019, but was met with some delays. Next page is the Pollock Pines Pony Express Trail Bicycle and Pedestrian Improvements. This was also funded by the statewide active transportation program. Um, it did experience some unfortunate delays due to the obviously unfortunate Caldor fire. Um, so they received a 12 month ex extension from the California Transportation Commission. This map shows the proposed updates from 2019 along the trail. The county says the project includes rapid flashers at existing crosswalks and enhances pedestrian walkways, crosswalk features and bicycle lanes. I'm hoping for some speed bumps because I think that's the only thing that's going to remind people that you need to slow down. It is fearful as an adult to even cross the street. So it I'm is just really hoping people just will slow down. And the county says they expect the bidding process of that project to start next month and then construction to happen sometime in the early fall. And they're estimating it all to wrap up by the summer of next year. Here in Pollock Pines, Danica Hill, KCR 8, 3 News.